In the heart of the wilderness, seasoned hunter Ethan stumbles upon a sight that stops him in his tracks. A trembling mama dog and her puppies helplessly tied to a tree. As he looks closer, he starts crying. Like every other day for the past 36 years, Ethan began his morning with a usual routine, going on a hunt. The routine was more like a ritual, topless, geared up, and his fierce veins pulsating through his skin. As he made his way in search of what the morning had to offer, the whimper of a dog echoed faintly through the quiet forest. Like the skilled hunter he was, it took him no time to track down the source of the whimper, only for his jaw to drop and eyes to tear up. What lay before Ethan was a sight he could never have prepared for. A scared mama dog, her eyes wide with fear, tied cruelly to a tree, surrounded by a litter of whimpering puppies clutched close to her. This heartbreaking view halted Ethan in his tracks, the usual thrill of the hunt replaced by a deep, stirring compassion. The mama dog, with her fierce maternal instinct, stood defensively, yet there was an unmistakable plea in her eyes. Ethan noticed peculiarities that added layers to the mystery. The dog was of a rare and expensive breed, known for their gentle temperament and unmatched loyalty. As Ethan absorbed the gravity of the scene before him, he couldn't help but reflect on its oddity. The dog's breed was known to fetch very high prices. Who would abandon such a pet? How did you end up here, girl? Ethan murmured, his voice soft, as if afraid to startle her further. The mama dog's weak gaze met his, a silent conversation passing between them. As he came closer to the dog, Ethan saw something that made him tear up. He realized the dog's head was drooping, her eyelids half-closed in a heavy, unnatural blink. Her movements were slow and uncoordinated, and each breath was shallow as she seemed to struggle to stay conscious. He also noticed her paws were wrapped in tattered bandages, stained with blood. This troubling realization made his heart sink and tighten with sorrow. Kneeling beside her, he gently stroked her head, whispering words of comfort. Tears blurred his vision as he vowed silently to not only save her, but also seek justice for the inhumanity she'd endured. Upon closer examination, he noticed an aged and worn collar around her neck. It held a clue, a barely legible inscription that seemed to harbor secrets of its past. The inscription on the collar was faint, but Ethan's curiosity was piqued. Holding it closer to his eyes, he tried to make out the words etched into the leather. Ilara, he read, the name rolling off his tongue with a mixture of intrigue and mystery. Beneath the name, more words, but these were obscured, making Ethan's heart race with speculation. The stakes were higher, and the story behind Ilara and her puppies was just beginning to unfold. Quickly, he scoured the area for any signs of unusual activity or lurking individuals, his hunter's instincts on high alert. Finding the surroundings as serene and undisturbed as the early morning mist, he got to work on how to get them home. With nothing but his weapon and no shirt on his back, he improvised. He won the dog's trust through his calm demeanor and the gentle tone of his voice, coaxing them with hand gestures and patient waiting. When the pups started to approach, Ilara knew she could trust Ethan and attempted to move towards him, but she was too weak and in pain. So, he first built a sling from large leaves and vine, creating a hammock that cradled the pup securely against his chest. Then he carefully lifted Alara, placing her gently across his shoulders. With her body draped along his shoulders, he ensured her weight was balanced to minimize her pain and embarked on the journey home. However, not via the beaten path known to many, but through a scarcely trodden route that wove through thickets and underbrush like a secret whispered among the trees. Ethan moved with a stealth that rivaled the silent predators of the night. Every step was calculated, every glance was a thorough scan of the environment, ensuring no trace was left behind for potential pursuers. His experience as a master of the wilderness lent him an almost invisible presence among the towering oaks and whispering pines. Upon arriving home, he wasted no time in preparing his underground sanctuary, a haven forged from his hands, away from the world's watchful gaze. With his preparations complete, Ethan turned his attention to Alara and her pups. Their eyes, filled with a mixture of fear and hope, watched his every move. As he fed and tended to their needs, a silent understanding grew between them. 
and as they drifted off to sleep, Alara blinked slowly, a nod of gratitude that spoke volumes. As dawn broke, casting a soft light across the land, Ethan, with newfound determination, set out to visit his old friend Jackson. But before leaving, Ethan knew that whoever left Alara and her pups would not let their valuable prize go without a hunt. So, with meticulous care, he reset the traps around his perimeter. These traps, designed to ward off or incapacitate unwelcome wild visitors, would serve a dual purpose in his absence. Jackson was a man whose skills in deciphering the most cryptic messages and whose knowledge of the underworld could unravel the web in which they were ensnared. As he laid out the story, Jackson listened intently, his eyes never leaving the collar when it was finally presented to him. Fascinating, Jackson murmured, his fingers tracing the inscriptions. This uses an old cipher, one that's not commonly known. Give me some time, Ethan. I should be able to crack it. Ethan left the collar in Jackson's capable hands, feeling a weight lift off his shoulders. It was one less thing to worry about. As Ethan drove back home, his thoughts were consumed by Alara and her pups. He envisioned countless scenarios of their fate had he not found them first. Upon reaching home, his heart sank. Signs were evident that Alara's captors had been around, eerily leaving everything as it was, except for a few misplaced items. They were astute enough to avoid the traps he had laid out, traps that would have snared any animal. A chilling realization dawned on Ethan. With Alara and her puppies under his care, danger lurked closer than ever. Rushing to his underground refuge, Ethan was relieved to find them still sleeping. It was in this moment of silent relief that Jackson's call came through, breaking the night's tense silence. Ethan, you're not going to believe this. Jackson's voice was a mix of shock and excitement. The inscription, it's a code, used by dog thieves. Alara was stolen, and this code was likely used to mark her as part of their loot. As Jackson relayed his discoveries, Ethan realized their journey was about to take an even more perilous turn, drawing them deeper into a web of danger. The startling revelation about the dog theft ring signaled a critical juncture in their investigation. The complexity and scale of the network required Ethan and Jackson to pivot to a strategy that could infiltrate the deeply entwined syndicate. Their path led them to Marco. Known amongst the underground circles as a procurement specialist, Marco's reputation was built on his uncanny ability to obtain the unobtainable. Whether it was rare artifacts, elusive information, or exotic animals, Marco either had it within his grasp or knew someone in his vast network who did. Understanding the gravity of their mission, Marco didn't hesitate to offer his assistance. He put Ethan in touch with a person whose involvement in the illegal animal trade plunged deep into the heart of the syndicate they aimed to unravel. This contact acted as their entry point into the sordid world they sought to expose and disband. Assuming the guise of a wealthy businessman in the market for an exotic breed to present to his wife, Ethan stepped into a realm fraught with moral ambiguity and imminent danger. I'm looking for something unique, a gift that speaks volumes, Ethan declared, his voice steady, disguising the turmoil beneath. The rendezvous was set in a nondescript warehouse on the outskirts of the city. As he walked through the shadowy corridors, Ethan's heart pounded against his chest, not from fear, but from the fervor to end the vile operations that thrived in these dark corners. His guide through this ominous journey was a man named Renzo, a key player in the animal trade network. Renzo was skeptical at first, but Ethan's fabricated backstory and the promise of significant payments won him over. We have exactly what you're looking for, Renzo assured his smile revealing nothing of the cruelty he partook in daily. The deeper Ethan went, the more harrowing the reality became. Cages upon cages of animals, each looking out with a mix of fear and resignation. Ethan's heart bled for them, but he kept his composure, focusing on the goal at hand, to gather enough evidence and insight to bring the whole operation crashing down. Ethan had gone to great lengths to infiltrate the Syndicate's inner circle, he knew that the slightest mistake could cost him his life, but he was determined to bring the whole operation down. So he wore a secret camera that captured everything he saw and everybody present. He had to be careful not to draw any attention to himself, so he acted like a true businessman who was disappointed with what they delivered and had no time for games. But then, Renzo made a fatal mistake. 
he let his guard down and revealed a crucial piece of information that Ethan had been waiting for. And just as he had hoped, a carelessly left document provided concrete evidence of the Syndicate's illegal activities. With the evidence securely in his possession, Ethan made his exit, promising Renzo and his cohorts that they would be in touch. The drive back was a blur, Ethan's mind racing with the next steps. He had ventured into the lion's den and emerged not just unscathed, but victorious, thanks to his quick thinking and the secret camera that captured every detail. However, unbeknownst to Ethan, the gang had him followed, a routine precaution for them to ensure no loose ends. His mission was to confirm whether Ethan was truly the affluent businessman he pretended to be. Stealthily tailing Ethan back to his secluded cabin, the spy observed from a distance, gathering details that shattered the meticulously crafted facade Ethan had presented. Realizing Ethan's true identity, he hastily reported back to his superiors. The orders he received in response were chilling. Ethan was to be silenced permanently. Ethan, oblivious to the dangerous turn of events, felt a semblance of safety within the confines of his cabin, unaware of the eyes watching him. Meanwhile, Ilara, vigilant as ever, peeped from her refuge in the underground shelter Ethan had prepared for her and her pups. Sensing the impending danger to Ethan, her instincts as a protector took over. Without hesitation, Ilara burst forth from her hiding, her form emerging in the moonlit night. Her barks echoed through the calm forest. Startled by the sudden commotion, Ethan turned just in time to see Ilara's fierce silhouette against the faint moonlight, her stance defensive, directed towards the unseen peril. The gang member, caught off guard by Ilara's emergence and her ferocious barking, hesitated. This momentary pause allowed Ethan to grasp the gravity of the situation. His heart pounding, he quickly pieced together the puzzle. He had been followed, and now his life was in direct danger. Ethan's survival instincts kicked in. He knew he had to act, and swiftly. As he moved to confront the threat, Ilara continued her brave distraction, providing Ethan the crucial seconds he needed. Her intuitive sense of danger, combined with her courageous act, not only alerted Ethan but forced the would-be attacker to abandon his element of surprise. The confrontation was abrupt yet decisive. Ethan, leveraging the advantage provided by Alara's intervention, was able to disarm and subdue the gang member. As Ethan and Alara awaited the authorities, he was overwhelmed with gratitude for her. Her sharp instincts and quick actions had undoubtedly saved him from a dire predicament. In those tense moments, Ethan began to piece together the mystery of why Alara had been abandoned in the wilderness tied to a tree. The gang member, initially tight-lipped, finally cracked under the pressure, after Ethan fired a warning shot near his foot. He confessed that Alara was destined to be sold to a millionaire who wanted her as a hunting trophy. They had ended up lost in the wilderness after misreading the coordinates provided for the exchange. They tied her to a marked tree, planning to return once they reoriented themselves. Ethan didn't stop there. He asked about the puppies and the blood on Alara's paws. The gang members said they were supposed to be gifts for the rich buyer to cement a lucrative business deal. About her bloody paws, he explained that after being captured, she was separated from her pups. One night, driven by a desperate longing to return to her puppies, she managed to escape her cage, which scared the syndicate's leaders, as failure to deliver her as agreed would be bad for business. In a cruel bid to prevent any future escape attempts, they deliberately injured her paws. With rough, callous hands, they bound her wounded feet with whatever ragged cloths they found, ensuring each step she took was a painful reminder of her failed escape. As Ethan listened to this heart-wrenching tale, tears welled in his eyes. In the quiet of the moment after the gang member's confession, Ethan and Alara shared a moment of profound connection, a silent pledge of mutual protection and unspoken understanding. Following the apprehension of the gang member turned spy, a tense atmosphere cloaked the room, where law enforcement and Ethan deliberated their next move. The spy's confession, coupled with the damning evidence Ethan had provided, painted a clear picture of the illegal operations. A raid was in the offing, a strategic strike poised to dismantle the syndicate once and for all. The initial plan was to schedule the raid for a later date, allowing time to rally additional forces and resources. However, Ethan, driven by a sense of urgency, argued against delay. We can't afford to wait, Ethan implored, the weight of every rescued dog's gaze upon him. 
If their spy doesn't report back, they'll know something's up. We need to hit them now. Catch them off guard. His voice, firm and determined, echoed the intensity of the moment. The officers exchanged wary glances, uncertainty flickering in their eyes. The risk was substantial, but so was the potential reward. After a moment of charged silence, the law enforcement leader spoke up. All right, we move tonight. We'll take them by surprise. The decision was made. The raid was set for that very night. Under the cloak of darkness, a convoy of vehicles crept towards the compound, the heart of the dog theft ring. Ethan, accompanying the officers, felt a complex mix of emotions swirling within him. Anticipation, anxiety, and the fervent hope that this night would mark the end of a sinister operation. The compound was vast, a labyrinth of buildings and enclosures that hid atrocities behind its walls. Armed and ready, the team breached the perimeter, moving with precise coordination. The element of surprise was on their side. As they delved deeper, the sound of barking grew louder, a cacophony of distress that fueled their resolve. Ethan's heart raced as they approached a large enclosure, the cries of countless dogs resonating with his every step. The raid was a resounding success. The gang members were caught off guard and swiftly apprehended by the law enforcement team. As the sun began to rise, painting the sky with hues of hope, dozens of dogs were escorted out of their prisons, their tails wagging despite the trauma they'd endured. As the animals burst free from their cages in a wave of chaos and excitement, Ethan spotted an astonishing sight amid the frenzy. It was a beautiful male dog of the same breed as Alara, who looked a lot like her puppies. Ethan wondered if the dog was Alara's mate. He waved, trying to beckon the dog over, but it hesitated, sizing him up cautiously from a distance. Just then, the dog's attention shifted to a pack of other dogs joyously sprinting past. With a burst of energy, it joined them, its spirits lifted by the collective freedom. But Ethan couldn't get the thought out of his mind. The dog even had a small spot with a distinctive shape that exactly matched one of the puppies. With the agreement of the police officers, he went back to his place to get Alara and bring her to meet the dog. The sight that followed melted his heart. The male dog's ears perked up as he caught the familiar scent in the air. With eager anticipation, he bounded forward, his tail wagging furiously. With joyful barks and excited yips, they dashed towards each other, their adorable reunion warming everyone's hearts. It gave the weary officers something to smile about after witnessing such cruelty and inhumane treatment. In the days following the raid, the community rallied to support the rescued dogs, offering them homes and a chance at a better life. However, Ethan had already made up his mind. He would adopt Alara, her mate, and their puppies, providing them the safe haven they deserved. The adoption was simple yet profoundly meaningful. As Ethan looked into the eyes of his new family, he realized the magnitude of what they had accomplished. They had not only dismantled a cruel syndicate, but had also forged bonds that transcended species. You're home now, Ethan whispered to Alara and her mate, their puppies playfully tumbling around their feet. You're safe. The words were a promise, a vow to protect and cherish these animals who had shown him the depth of courage and the capacity for love. However, the winds of fate had yet another twist in store. One crisp morning, as Ethan tended to his four-legged friends, a call from the local law enforcement altered the course of events once again. An officer, familiar with Ethan's heroics, informed him that the rightful owners of Alara, her mate, and the puppies had been desperately searching for them. The reunion was set at the police station, a neutral ground for what was to be a bittersweet parting. Upon arrival, Ethan was greeted by a couple whose affluence was evident, yet it was their heartfelt gratitude and overwhelming joy at the sight of their beloved pets that truly stood out. Tears and thanks were exchanged as Ethan carefully handed over Alara and her puppies, his heart heavy yet fulfilled, knowing they were returning to loving arms. In recognition of his selflessness, the couple offered Ethan a substantial reward, a generous sum of money as a token of their appreciation. True to his humble and caring nature, Ethan declined the monetary gift. He conveyed that the real reward was knowing Alara and her family were safe and sound. Touched by this gesture, the couple respected his decision and decided to give the money to the local shelter who had taken in some of the rescued dogs. In the weeks following the emotional parting with Alara and her puppies, Ethan's quiet life underwent another remarkable transformation. 
Amid the whirlwind of media attention and the continuous influx of interview requests, one proposal stood out. Encouraged by friends and swayed by the realization that his story could inspire further acts of kindness and bravery, Ethan finally agreed to share his journey on television. The broadcast, watched by a captivated audience, highlighted not just the daring escape, but the profound connection between humans and animals, further solidifying Ethan's role as a beacon of heroism in his community. This newfound recognition reached its pinnacle when the local law enforcement agency, the very body that had facilitated the reunion of Alara with her original family, decided to honor Ethan publicly. In a ceremony that drew the attention of the entire community, Ethan was awarded for his exceptional courage and selflessness. Standing before his fellow citizens, with representatives of the law by his side, Ethan accepted the accolade with humility dedicating it to every individual who, in moments of crisis, chooses to act with compassion. As we wrap up this heart-wrenching story, we're left to marvel at Ethan's courage and kindness. How far would you go to save an innocent life? Share your thoughts below and join us next time for more inspiring stories.